What's up YouTube? It's your girl at Tony 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 back at it again with another video. This time I'm coming to you giving you my favorite go-to products in terms of beauty and skincare and I'm going to show you how I do a really quick everyday makeup look. Um, this is my go-to. Even It's not even every day. I might wear it out, but it's not anything dramatic. It's really simple and very easy to do. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to show you my favorite products that I use. First things first, your skin is a blank canvas for makeup. So if your skin ain't right, you not looking right, period. Monday through Friday during the work week, I typically don't wear makeup. I try to make sure that I'm focusing on my skin and making sure that my skin is healthy so that when I'm 40, 45, 50, I'm still looking pristine. Uh, my skin care routine is pretty simple. I do see a dermatologist. Uh, my dermatologist I see for my alopecia spots as well as just for overall skin health. Whenever there's anything going on with me, since I have like a, a standing monthly appointment, I usually go ahead and tell her if there's anything going on with my skin. There was a period where my skin was really breaking out. First, I was like, oh, let me go get a, um, What's it called? A facial. Let me get a facial, let that lady, the esthetician, tell me what my skin needs. Cause I was getting these little surface bumps all over my face. Like they weren't whiteheads, they were just raised. She recommended I start using more toner. I'm like, girl, I already use toner. She's like, you need to use this specific toner. So I went and bought all these products and it didn't work. Went to the dermatologist, she gave me one thing, told me to make sure that I use it all the time start off with every other day and kind of build a tolerance with the skin and it'll keep your skin nice and clean. So, with that being, my bad. With that being said, let's get into my favorite products. Right now, I have been obsessed with this Peter, Thomas, and Raw. Y'all know I got a new camera, so uh, <laughs> bear with me while I focus this on its own. Oh, crrr. This is the Peter Thomas and Raw Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. Now, this I will say has, it's a very drying. It keeps my skin looking really good, but I have to like be cautious when I use this. I have to drench my skin in moisture because it dries it out really, 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 really badly. Um, this is oil-free, it's anti-wrinkle. Um, it helps visibly brighten with glycolic acid, salicylic acid, uh, citric acid, extracts of peach, uh, white oak bark, lemon, lime, linden, grapefruit, and argonine. And it's for all skin types except sensitive. It literally says on the bottle, except sensitive skin. That's crazy. Now, this is what my dermatologist has recommended that I use. This is what she rec that she uh, prescribed to me. This is called Tread. Tenoin cream. This is basically a okay, a pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical retinol cream. Okay, so retinol is famed for its anti-aging properties. It tackles several different skin concerns at once, including sun damage, fine lines and wrinkles, pores, acne, and overall texture. Texture, that's what I would say. It has really dramatically changed the texture of my skin. So talk to your dermatologist, see if they can get you some sort of retinol cream. I've had this for probably two months and it's super full. You literally only need like a dot of it. Actually, I have not put any on today, so I'm gonna show you how much I use. Literally this much, and this is actually like almost too much. I take it and I just dot it all over my skin. Like that, and this is just to make sure that it evenly goes on. You're not just oversaturating one, and then I rub it in, especially on my forehead and stuff. It can get a little cray. Just remember the order: gel, cleansing gel, retinol cleanser, and then moisturizer. This is my favorite. This is the Mario Badescu Honey Moisturizer. This is bomb. 
for me, honestly, y'all can get weak. It kind of reminds me of like, you know, the old school queen, I forgot what it's called, I think it's called queen. It's cocoa butter lotion that all the black mamas used to use. It's like in a big bottle. I'm gonna show you a little picture up here somewhere. It reminds me of that scent, but like an adult version. Like, I feel like I'm a mama, but I also feel like I'm bougie. So it's like, ooh, okay. Anyway, I love it. This is my fave. So that's, before you do anything, you gotta make sure the base is good. You wouldn't wanna start painting the canvas and the canvas dirty. Anyway, let's get into the makeup. First thing that I use. Now, since I'm working on the beauty that is my skin, when it is everyday type makeup, I don't really wear foundation. I use concealer and that's it. I'm gonna start off with primer. This is the NYX Studio Perfect photo loving primer. This softens fine lines and pores. This is a definite dupe of the Smashbox photo primer. It works the same, sis. It works the same, I swear. This is like significantly cheaper than the, than the uh, Smashbox photo primer and it literally is the exact same product. It goes on the same way. I do put it all over. Mostly concentrated in my eyes simply because I use a, I'm using concealer and stuff there. Next thing I go in with is concealer. Got to have a concealer. So my go-to concealer is Tarte. I know everybody like is obsessed with it. This is okay. So I got to keep my hand up. This is so corny. This is the Tarte Shape Tape, sis. Let me tell you. Once I did shape tape, I never went back. I never went to any other concealer again. This concealer will wipe away fine lines, dark circles, wrinkles, that dude you used to mess with, all the bad decisions you made last week after brunch. Anything that you did after 27 mimosas, this gonna get rid of it. Let me tell you, it's creamy, it covers everything. You only need a small amount and it like changes the texture of your skin completely. Completely. I'm obsessed with this. Like, get the get the shape tape. You will never look at any other concealer again. Um, the color that I got is tan deep sand. So we're gonna use that, and we're also gonna go in with my beauty blender. Okay. Now I know some people dampen their beauty blender. For me, I can take it or leave it. Some days I dampen it, some days I don't. So we're gonna go in with our shape tape. Put a little there, and then I take my beauty blender and we blend it out. And then I start kind of bringing it down, and then I take it and I go over my eye as well, just a little. So that'll blend out all of that. And then we can kind of, kind of like making like a fake face mask. Get down here, because it gets a little red right there. All my light skin girls gets a little red for my chocolate beauties. Y'all gonna love this because they definitely have a wide range of colors. I'm, a, I'm obsessed with it. All right, we're gonna do the other side. All right, now that your eyes successfully look like Casper, honey, ghost-like, totally different color. That's how we want it to look. Okay, then my next go-to product, translucent powder, can't live without it. Okay, this is Too Faced Born This Way Translucent Powder. Powder. I have tried Neutrogena, Maybelline had a powder. Those were my cheap ones. Mm. Laura Mercier, I've tried Revolutions, I've tried all sorts of translucent powders and they've all been good to okay. Um, Laura Mercier was nice. Laura Mercier's consistency and product is nice, but the color for this is brown girl friendly. They have various, I don't know how many colors they have in this. It's kind of like a banana powder-ish, but it has a little bit more brown to it. I take a different beauty blender because the beauty blender, the orange beauty blender I use for wet products and this blue beauty blender I use for dry products. So I dip it 
in there and coat the corner of it. So it looks like that. I take it under the eye. And I low key try to push up into the creases slash wrinkles. I don't want to call them wrinkles because I feel like I'm old when I call them wrinkles. But I push up into it and then take it around. And you're going to kind of not pack it on, but you're going to put a good amount so that you can see that it's powdery because you're going to wipe it off later. Basically, you're sucking up, sucking up the moisture from that powder. My trouble spots in terms of where I become oily is up here. I get greasy. So I just take the same beauty blender and I like press it. So it's like you're making a mask, Loki. Like you're taking it around this eye portion. All right, so go to mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Black Mascara. So this is what I use every day. Um, it gets the job done. This is my favorite one. Okay, I get lots of questions. Woo, I get all the questions. I get lots of questions about lash application without using eyeliner. Now, a lot of times you can do that wing line, pop on your lash, and you're not gonna really be able to tell if it's lifted, if it's not lifted, if it's looking crazy, because that kind of liner kind of cheats you out. But I put on a lash without the liner, which is a little more advanced, because you gotta make sure it lines up like perfectly. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. First things first, you gotta have the right products again. I used to put it on with my fingers and it was disastrous. It, I could do it, but it took forever. So now I use these tweezers. Now what's special about these tweezers is that they're specifically for lashes. So they'll kind of press them in and it's curved a little bit. Like they're good. I got these from Ulta. The lash glue that I use, oh my God. I would never use another lash glue. Stop using hair glue on your lashes because you're not gonna have none in 10 years. All right, so this is the Duo Brush On Adhesive with vitamins. Hmm, with vitamins. I guess she thought it wasn't gonna have vitamin. Oop, can we, there we go. Take my lash, I put it on here. I'm gonna grab it and hold it so that it stretches it out a little bit, like that. Like it's a little bit more, not as super curved. It's like a light, like the same curvature of my eye. I'm gonna take the brush on, brush that on. That's how it looks. You wanna wait right now, it's kinda like I said, it turns like a blue tint, can you see that? It turns blue, but then as it dries, it'll turn kinda clear. So now we wait. The lash line and then the line of this where the glue is, and you wanna start, place it, okay, so if this is a lash, you wanna place the middle part to your eye first, then put on the side part and then put on the inner part. So it's like a three point. Don't just try to push it on there, it's not gonna work. So try to line up the middle part of it first and then line up the other sides. So I got that middle part on, right? Now I'm gonna take the corner, push that down gently. And then I'm gonna take this other corner and push that down and then give it a second so once it starts to adhere, you'll be able to kind of see it. And then you're gonna take the flat part of this and you're gonna sandwich them together. All right, so we've got one on there. As you can see, there's no, a smack. You can see there's no gap. It's just one even lash. And we're gonna do the other one. All right, so we got the second one on. Like you wanna go and make sure each part is sticking to the lash line. And then once that dries a little bit, we'll sandwich it. All right, next, we're gonna go in with the brush, brush off this forehead stuff so we can do the eyes, I mean the eyebrows. Brush that off. As you can see, it's nice and matte and bright. Love it. All right, brows, what y'all been waiting for. I get lots of compliments on my brows and I'm very humbled by them. I've practiced brows very, very, a very long time, for a very long time because I have a brow inspiration that I'm going for. I have a friend and her brows, her brows are like banging. So I'll be trying to make my brows look like hers. So we're gonna try to zoom in and I'm gonna show you how I do my brows. All right, first things first, the queen of brows. The queen of brows is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Anybody else is subpar, period. 
Um, I use Anastasia Dip Brow, that's what I use. This is the Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate. Um, I know they have pencils. I'm not really good with doing pencils. I feel like a brush gives you a more um, natural look. I feel like the pencil looks more like a pencil, so. Um, and then I use the brush as well, and this is the number 12 Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. All right, so I'm gonna dip into here, a little bit on this side of the brush, a little bit on that side of the brush, and then dip in the middle. And then I take it and I wipe it off on the sides because you don't want too much product. Flip it over, wipe it off. You got your brush. All right, so what you wanna do is you're basically trying to outline the brow. You wanna brush them out, and then you wanna outline the brow. So we're gonna start at the top. Nice crisp line at the top, like so. Get a little bit more on your brush, and bring it down to a nice sharp point, okay? The same thing on the bottom. I always raise my eyebrow so that I can find that line. And then you're gonna take this point and connect it down so it's nice and sharp. Bam! Period. Okay, you got your outline. As you can see, I did not bring it all the way over here. Don't bring that over there. Uh-uh. Start in the middle. That's where you want the harsh line to be. All right, now we're just going to literally take from where I stopped here down to that and you're gonna fill it in. You don't wanna fill it in so much that it's so dark that it starts to look shiny. It still needs to look matte, so don't put too much. Go a little bit at a time, and you're just gonna fill that in. Make that tip nice and dark and defined. On the tip part, because I don't have any actual brow there, I really wanna go in and make that as dark as possible. With the remaining product on the brush, you want to lightly, lightly, lightly go and outline this part. Light. And you're going to outline underneath. Lightly, lightly, lightly. Fill it in with strokes. Okay? Take this side of the brush and you're going to brush it up into there. Focus. Brush, 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 up, brush, up, brush, up. brush it in. Look at that. That's it. That's it. Can you see the difference? It's not too dramatic. It's just filled in. And you cannot use a lot of product. That's what keeps it nice and natural looking. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. And We'll finish up the look. We're almost done. Like, this is easy. We're not doing too much. It's all about brows and eyes. It's gotta be seductive. <laughs> not seductive at all. So, we're gonna take our brush and we're gonna wipe all that powder off and blend it in. Wipe and blend. Get a little on the nose. We're gonna take our mascara, go underneath a little bit. Get that corner, honey. Get the corner. Woo, child. All right. So that's done. Now, if you want a little razzle dazzle, just a little. I also use this NARS uh, blush. It is in the color, you guessed it. Orgasm. Orgasm. Oh, oh, oh. Gonna go on a little blush brush. Giving hit, okay. It's more iridescent. <laughs> Girls try to explain it. I mean, it's there, but you know, can't see it because it's there, but it's there. All right, then I'm gonna take um, this beautiful fan brush that I got from Morphe that I'm like obsessed with. And I have two highlighters that I'm obsessed with right now. Um, I have the cheek version, which does the same thing. It is Jeffree Star approved if you watch him. Um, the Wet n Wild 
a highlighter powder and this is in the color this in the color oh golden all right golden flower crown they dramatic and then also morphe's highlighter which is in the color high wait no it's high impact it's in the color mirage so that's the two now honestly i do both this is more of a darker highlighter like a, a dark champagne and this is more of like a gold highlighter so that kind of gives it some dimension so i take my brush i go a little bit on there and a little bit on there tap 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 and i bless the cheeks bless them bless them bless them bless them they bless i'm gonna throw a little lippy on this is mac in the color world just so i can feel like it's complete a little bit simple may darken it up this is a really exclusive product it's called carmex i might put that on top to get some gloss mmm now it's like glossy Ooh. Wrap it up with this NYX matte finish uh, spray, setting spray. Oh, set it, set it, set it and forget it. That's gonna make everything look a little bit more skin-like and less dry and less crazy looking. And guess what? We're done. So thanks for watching. Comment below if you have any questions. Um, like, subscribe, um, all that. Give me some thumbs up. Let me know what y'all think. Try this out and see if it works for you. Uh, that's about it for me today. I will see y'all later. I'm going to go ahead and head out.